Hey guys, I just wanted to hop on here and talk a little bit about post-recovery after having a vestibulectomy. I was just kind of chatting with someone um, via Instagram and they were asking me questions about it and it made me realize that's something I didn't really talk about yet. Um, and before I dive into it, I always like to be very upfront and remind you I am not a physician. Um, I'm not here to diagnose or anything like that. I'm strictly just giving you my personal experience. So what I'm about to say, take it with a grain of salt. It's going to vary depending on what um, you've been diagnosed with and what the surgery is going to entail. Um, and if you're watching this and don't know what a vestibulectomy is, I'm not going to get into it. You can Google it, but be forewarned, you might see some images. <laughs> but just for time's sake, I'm going to get right into it. So um, if you're thinking about having a vestibulectomy or you've just had one, um, here's what I would suggest to you. And my vestibulectomy um, varied in a sense that while part of the vestibule was removed um, and the Bartholins and Skeen's glands were removed, I also um, had a portion of my perineum removed and reconstructed because of scar tissue from episiotomy, as well as um, just a small portion of the labia on the right side. So mine kind of had a little more than just the vestibule. Um, for me, what I experienced within the first couple days was um, very similar to like a muscle spasm and for lack of a better word, a little bit of like a zing type feeling, which um, my doctor explained was probably all of the nerve endings. So you might experience that as well. Um, you might feel a little bit of burning as well. Um, again, these things are normal. The way that I like to think of it or describe to other people is um, imagine you're um, maybe driving on a highway and there's a construction site and as they're going through the construction it's a pain in the ass it causes more traffic uh everything's a mess you have to reroute and you know do all kinds of stuff and then all of a sudden it starts to come together and then when it's completed it's better than it was before that's kind of how healing from surgery can be so those first few days Keep in mind, anything that you're experiencing, as long as it's not life-threatening and your sur surgeon or physician should talk about those things, are going to be normal. You're gonna, your body's going to be experiencing numerous types of sensations. Um, again, if we're thinking of this like a highway, it's like the roads trying to reconnect. So all those nerve endings are trying to find new pathways. The muscles are trying to adapt to any changes. Um, so here would be a quick advice for you. <laughs> Sorry, I lost my train of thought. Number one, um, look into getting a sitz bath as well as having perineal ice packs. You want to alternate between the two. So a sitz bath, um, your surgeon might actually give you um, to go home with. If not, you can find them at your pharmacy. You can find them online. If you don't want to invest in a sitz bath, you can just take warm baths. It's essentially the same thing. I just found it very difficult to sit in a tub um, post-surgery. It was a lot easier to just do the sits bath. It goes on your toilet. Um, again, I'm not going to go into depth and in what it does, but the warm water essentially um, just feels really soothing. It also helps to cleanse the area. I would not recommend putting in any kind of essential oils um, if you research a little bit there'll be different people that suggest you know we'll use this and that and lavender i'd stay away from it you know that area has just been through a lot <laughs> and just let the warm water do its job you don't need anything extra um, the perineal ice packs will help especially with nerve pain um, this I found a little more difficult to find online, but you can find it. If any of you have ever had children, it's kind of similar to the little like makeshift ice packs they give you post delivery. Um, depending on what you find, some of them you'll just, it looks like a big pad. It's not glorious and you'll snap it and it'll kind of activate the ice. Um, you'll want to check with your doctor. I think you don't, you shouldn't ice it more. 
I, gosh, I don't even know the appropriate time, but I remember there was a, a certain time to ice it and you'll even feel the pack itself starts to get less cool. Um, and you'll do that kind of on and off for so many hours for a few days after surgery. And that can really, really help. Again, that'll help reduce any swelling. If you are having some of those zings or nerve pains, that'll help. And then if you're alternating that with your sits bath, that'll be more soothing and comforting to the body. Um, the next bit of advice I would give you is to use a product called Arnica. It's spelled A-R-I-N-C-A. I still have my little bottle here. Did I spell that right? A-R-I-N-C-A, that's how I spell it. Um, or A-R-N-I-C-A, I'm sorry, I'm winging this. Um, can you see that? Yep, there you go. I found it um, at a health food store. Again, this is a homeopathic method. Now I wanna be completely transparent. I typically do not like homeopathic treatments. Um, I think it's the pharmacy tech in me. A lot of it just isn't regulated. Um, there aren't a lot of studies proving that they help, mainly because the potency of homeopathic solutions are so minuscule, it's hard to tell if in fact it's coming from that or something else. However, with that said, a friend of mine recommended this to me, uh, who also happens to be a physician, and it is um, basically an analgesic. You can find, this is a dissolvable tab, you can find it in pill form or topical form, and its intended use is to help heal post-surgery or post-injury with um, swelling, bruising, uh, things of that nature. I opted for the oral form of taking this because I was just really hesitant to put anything else on top of that very sensitive area. And I was shocked at how much it helped me. I was taking Advil kind of on a regular basis after the first week of, of using pain pills. Um, and I was just, I felt like I was really popping a lot of Advil. And when I started using the Arnica, I almost didn't even need to take it. It helped tremendously. So again, ask your physician. Um, it is homeopathic, but depending on what else you're taking, just make sure there's no interactions. Um, I really can't stress that enough. So remember, I'm not your doctor. That's just a suggestion. But it helped me so much. Um, so I really recommend it. Last but not least, look into a website called Cushion Your Assets, A-S-S-E-T-S, -S -E and they sell cushions specifically for perineal issues. So I got one called Twin Cheeks, and I, I shared this way back on my feed, so you can scroll if you wanna see it. Um, it was a cushion that essentially would, um, had like an opening in the middle, and then the cushion was to the left and the right for my buttocks and, and thighs to sit on, but nothing touched my perineum or vestibule, and it was such a game changer. I was able to sit at the table, um, with my family and have dinner. I could get in the car. Um, when I went back to work, I used it. Uh, it's not super cool or sexy looking, but I could have cared less because it helped me function like a human being. Um, I will give you a disclaimer. They're a bit pricey, but please know I would not recommend it if I didn't fully believe in it. It is a wonderful, wonderful product. Um, if you are not in the U.S. I'm not sure if they ship internationally, uh, but they are a fabulous company. I think they're based out of Colorado, and it was started by two women. Um, I called them with questions. Their, their customer service was phenomenal. Um, great, great service, so I highly recommend them. Uh, and I think that's about it. Um, one more thing. When I had my surgery, that was kind of when I was at the height of my yoga craze and I was really, really into it. And I remember thinking, oh, I can't wait to do some stretches. Um, in hindsight, don't push it. I remember trying to do a few things and my body was just not ready. So rest as much as you need. And rather than focus on physical movement right away, focus on breathing techniques. Look up diaphragmatic breathing. I've got some stuff on YouTube. You can Google it. I don't care who you use, but focus on breathing techniques. It will relax your pelvic floor and it will overall just be soothing and calming to you. Um, so that's about it. If you guys have questions, please message me. I'm always so, so happy to help you. You know, if you're going through this, 
I remember all I ever wanted was to talk to somebody who knew what it was like. So I'm your gal.